Hey guys, it's Rob HNRE42. Now, what we're looking at here is my new target system that I just had built. Had the help of my close friend JR. And JR, if you're watching this, buddy, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, he donated this scrap rod material for me. And we just cut it and welded it up. And uh, we did a standard A frame design on each side of the target system of the stand itself and then ran support bars for our suspended chain the gong itself also had a very close friend uh, works at a machine shop that donated the gong to me uh, we're just we've been friends for a very long time I help him and his family with anything and everything they need and he turns around and does the same for me so it's one of those those type of friendships and uh, grateful grateful to both of those guys um, the gong is half inch or three eighths thick I can't remember exactly and it's a 16 inch circular so there's my hand uh, I had two of these cut and we're gonna use them at a hundred yards and two hundred yards uh, for our AR-15s, uh, the chain is a little excessive. I know it's a little long, but that's temporary. We're just trying to decide how high we're going to pull them. Uh, the way the target system's designed, the way the stand's designed, is just jab straight down into the ground, and it's probably in the ground six or eight inches there. Uh, so this could be raised up quite a bit. But just a simple nut, bolt, and washer. Through the ear hose, I call those milk, Mick, Mickey Mouse tabs. Those are Mickey Mouse ears. I think it's just a very simple way to mount a gong. I've had a lot of luck doing so. And when you when you mount them that way, it gives it a natural cant. It's naturally tilted. So it's going to be hit with pistol rounds as well, I'm sure, but um, mostly mostly for the two two three five five six. So I just wanted to show that to you real quick, guys. Uh, let me know what you think about it. I'm pretty happy with it. Got to get some paint on it. Uh, surface rust starts happening quickly. So getting the paint on it is going to bring me to my next point. This video will also be a VR, even though he didn't ask for it, to the late Boy Scout. I'll throw a link to his channel in the description. He's doing a current giveaway for a can, aerosol can of Duracoat. And he basically just wanted to know if you won that can of Duracoat, what would you, what would you Duracoat? And me and my buddy when we were building this, I said, I asked him, you know, I wonder how something like Duracoat would hold up on that gong instead of just regular paint. Do you think it would last longer? Uh, and so if I was lucky enough to win, that's what I would do is Duracoat the, Duracoat the gong itself, not the frame, uh, but the gong itself and give it time to cure. And throw some lead at it and kind of it'll be a cool test I think see how how long it holds up how well it holds up and compared to regular paint uh, several guys including myself we've all painted gongs with with regular paint I'd like to see what the Duracoat would do so it's just an idea if you've done that before or know anything about it let me know I think it'd be a cool topic so we'll just do a quick once over and other sides just the same identical to be honest so there's the sides like keep in mind guys that chain's not gonna stay at that length it's just temporary decide how high I want to pull it and then we'll throw the chain at our range site for backup chain in case I hit it. I'll be the one to hit it. I'm the worst shot out of our group. So, anyway, that's what's up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you had a great weekend. Everyone have a blessed work week next week. We'll see you around, fellas and sisters.